Hi, my name's Sameet. I'm 18 years old and presently reside at the Dow Martyr Sixth Form in London studying Mathematics, Chemistry and Biology in anticipation of undertaking an economics related degree in the future. And here's why I believe I should get the opportunity to study in Hong Kong. From an early age I can recall being told accounts of Hong Kong and the terms over which sovereignty was sought from the People's Republic of China over from the British Empire in 1997. A society in transition then, but one which still possessed the inclination to continue driving its tour de force economy ever onwards from whence the days it was a mere fishing village into the economic powerhouse we see before us today. Principally known for exploiting its geographical propensity, Hong Kong has aptly capitalised on its well-endowed natural harbour for the purpose of trade commerce. This trade front has paved a way for revolution helping Hong Kong become one of the fastest developing economies in the world. In today's age, nations aspire to raise the standards of living and well-being of their residents. Nations endeavour to elevate their country's prosperity into higher orbits with intent to become financially fit in terms of economic downturn. In an era where scarcity plagues the modern world, to fully realise and appreciate the common rule over the modern world, my intuition leads me to observe the fascinating orb of economics. In many ways I see Hong Kong to be a reflection of London, yet another financial node in the world of fiscal trade and conduit through which to perceive the grand economy of the world and discern its many facets. This by very extension means that any aspirant student should seek to acclimatise themselves to the region and pursue its many potential lifelong lessons. It's a land stoked in historical and political significance, some of which reminiscent from the days of the early British Empire. A remnant of a time foregone, the bond between the UK and Hong Kong still bears strength and the link celebrated more so today by the people of Hong Kong through their daily customs. You really can see a multifaceted society whose roots stem from the extensive mixture of cultures and a way of life derivative of pastimes. The unique fusion has certainly left an impression with a spectacle of sorts worthy of any great modern nation. From its celebrated sumptuous cuisine to its opulent lifestyle, for a student to transverse to Hong Kong would mean face first hand of such lifestyle and offer them the promising opportunity to keep with them to its decorum. Complement this with an affordable means of transport, the all-embracing skyline encompassing any fortunate student's view from Victoria Peak and a true international tourist hub is born. But for students in particular, Hong Kong has really cast its net wide for these offerings as a true dream destination for university study. Though beyond a place of decadence, for one to indulge their senses, enshrined in Hong Kong's basic law can be found the privileges of being a special administrative region of China where it identifies and endorses a financially free doctrine, specifically through Article 108, the practice of an independent taxation system which an inclination to keep taxes low. This is just as accommodating for free enterprise as much as welcoming the common student. This holds true more so in recent times where the UK has heralded a more costly education system for those employing the university option. Through students levying more than their means, the contemporary fees model can be depicted as depriving many of the prospects of attending university through their apprehension of being burdened with financial anxiety. Here, Hong Kong's favourable taxation system constitutes a more viable approach in accommodating students' desires to attend university, the connotations of which are clearly cast across Hong Kong's harbours into the hearts of every student seeking to advance their learning. My infatuation with the topic of economics has taken me to probe the world's leading courses on the subject matter from well-esteemed establishments such as those in Hong Kong where it is home to some of the highest ranked universities available in accordance with the QS World Ranking System. These include the prominent Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, the University of Hong Kong and the Chinese University of Hong Kong, the latter of which captivates me most with a critically acclaimed accounting and economic sector which is deeply engaged with the growth of Hong Kong itself.
Moreover, the courses themselves are taught by those involved in finance, such as chartered financial practitioners, namely Mr. Simon Lee, who is an experienced lecturer in personal finance, investment and accounting. This noteworthy summer course run by the Chinese University of Hong Kong will enable me and other international students to gain an insight behind the mechanisms of trade commerce and delve into the workings of how big businesses sell, procure and run so efficiently in Hong Kong, whilst also presenting the occasion to appraise my own abilities in making decisive investments and managerial decisions. Where all economies are globally interrelated now, nations of the East are looking towards the West and vice versa. The West endeavours to forge prosperous relationships and hope for good fortune to come. With China rising to become more imminent economic force to be reckoned with, the world recognises China's rise to prominence. Hong Kong is often aptly portrayed as the gateway to mainland China. It is a place where the East meets West and where such bonds may be fostered. And for students choosing to partake in this endearing point in history will surely be rewarded with a holistic view of China's globalising culture, as it is ever more imperative that our cultures integrate so as to give rise to potential business opportunities as they develop in the imminent future. Though the most important reason for students to get the opportunity to study in Hong Kong, in my opinion, is because we can get a real sense for how powerful we really are. Not physically, but rather how we can psychologically enhance ourselves by changing not only what we think, but actually how we think. You see, Hong Kong is known for its ambitious capitalist-based economy driven through the endeavours of producing world-class facilities for trade and education. And these endeavours are etched into the city's youth, echoing the sentiments of a motivated nation. Thus, any student can gain total access to the work ethic of many students, teachers, professionals from Hong Kong, all in the hope of becoming better students, but more importantly, better people. And I am enticed at the prospect of venturing into Hong Kong to realise what awaits for me on the harbours of Hong Kong. And this is why I believe, with resolute certainty, that Hong Kong is certainly a dream destination for university study.